Before everything, the chair board needs to take the roll call at the beginning of each session. During this process, delegates can say either present or present and voting. If a delegate is present, they can vote in favor, against or abstaining during the voting procedure. However, if a delegate is present and voting, they cannot abstain. Welcome delegates. We are going to start our session with the roll call. Please state if you are present or present and voting when, I'll, when I say your country's names. Delegate of Iran. Present. Russian Federation. Present and voting. Israel. Present and voting. Turkey. Present. United Kingdom. Present. United States. Present and voting. PR China. Present and voting. Palestine. Present. So just a reminder, Delegate of Palestine is uh, an ob observer state. So unfortunately they cannot vote in the resolution. Now we will be moving on with the opening speeches. After the roll call, every delegate is obliged to make an opening speech in the first session, which can be maximum of one minute. Uh, delegate of Iran, you have been recognized. Thank you for the recognition. Honorable Chair Board and esteemed delegates, as the delegation of Islamic Republic of Iran, we are highly honored and appreciate the efforts to execute this conference that spotlights a crucial topic, like situation in Palestine. Over history, Iran and Palestine had many conflicts. However, about this significant topic, Islamic Republic of Iran is always an ally and, and supporter to Palestine. As we all know, but look over, the situation at the region harms both civilians and the government. Moreover, the armed forces are killing civilians and taking actions that simply contradict the basic human rights. As the Republic of Iran, we are trying to help and encourage all the member states to resolve the issue and satisfy both Palestinian citizens and governments. To conclude, we wish to have an efficient and effective debate that encour and encourage the member states to be aware that the emergency of the issue. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. You may yield the floor. The floor is yielded. Delegate of Russian Federation, you have been recognized. Honorable Chair and dear delegates, in our current world of politics, the biggest issue in circulation is the freedom of Palestine. Since 1948, Palestinians have been tormented to violence and revoke their liberty by Western governments. This issue has gotten so out of hand that citizens of the Western countries want Palestine's freedom too, and to end it loss of human life and bring an end to this gr gruesome yet tragic conflict, or dare we say massacre. The governments continue to dismiss Palestine as a country and label it as a state. Four and a half million Palestinians wake up every day to a new bombing or a new terrorist attack. Palestinian women and children getting violently murdered make grounds in international news, and yet governments continue to dismiss Palestine. Palestine deserves its freedom. The Western countries continue to suppress their freedom and pass them off as a rowdy part of Israel, but they fail to see the bigger picture. They fail to see the four and a half million Palestinians pleading for their freedom, pleading for the suffering to end, and pleading for their lives. Palestine has become a hotspot for active terrorism due to its conflicting politics and its lack of support. This ends today. Palestine will be free of violence and torment. Today, we will set aside our differences and bring an end to a gruesome fight, which has claimed over 75,000 lives and to bring what the Palestinians deserve, freedom. We are willing to work with all nations to bring justice into Palestine and make it a free country. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. You may yield the floor. We yield the floor. Now the Delegate of the United Kingdom. You have been recognized. Thank you for the recognition, Chair. Uh, the most distinguished chair board and honorable delegates. Regarding the conflict we are currently debating upon, UK recognizes the human rights and international law violations committed by Israel in incidents such as uh, the building of the wall separating demographically more Palestinian areas, creating segregation, which also has been classified as a breachment of law by ICJ twice, despite our economic and commercial relations with the mentioned state. We also would like to make it clear that we do recognize Palestine as an independent state on its own, however, only with non-member observer status rather than a full membership about on the UN. We expect all the present nations to agree upon the fact that Palestinian citizens are under oppression and their lack of rights should be recognized. We wish it for all today. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. You may yield the floor. The floor is yielded. 
Now, delegates, we are going to be moving on with the lobbying session. So I will be sharing the document. Here is the most important feature of the time and procedure. Resolutions are written before debating. When opening speeches are over, the House moves on to the lobbying session, which is for writing the resolutions. Delegates are also permitted to prepare clauses before the conference starts, but they have to complete the resolution during the lobbying time. Now uh, you're in the lobbying session. You may act freely. So uh, we obviously have our differences. We can't deny that fact. However, we do believe that there needs to be proper discussion between preferably us and the state of Palestine specifically. And we are open for both Palestine and other nations to work with us in order to discuss terms that we can have to actually reach a solution and reach something. So what do the other delegates think? Do you actually believe that this could be effective for your state? Um, like, we couldn't hear you. Could you please repeat? Do you actually believe that all after all this time, now you could just be effective upon this issue? Well, we've always been effective, let's say, but again, the terms that we have to use here need to be specific. By saying effective, what do we exactly mean? And as we've said, we want to have discussions. We're not saying that we are going to reach a certain point, which other delegates may expect and request, but we do believe that discussions should be made. And since this is a lobbying time, we believe that certain states, especially the ones that have something to say about this or really vocal about this topic, need to give ideas for the resolution. Um, wouldn't the delegate think that we should have a common ground upon, especially upon the human rights issues, so that we can actually establish some solutions instead of uh, dividing again and not coming to a conclusion as a whole? Um, again, I would like to highlight the fact that um, we are on the protection of human rights issue. So therefore, our discussions must be um, rid of any political agendas, but rather focus on all humanitarian aspects. So focusing on um, the definition of humanitarian aspects and how we can work on that would be a much better idea than to jump into political conclusions. Exactly. I, I, I was going to say that um, maybe we should kind of divide this humanitarian needs into like a few topics so that we have like a better understanding of what we're standing at and then what we're going to do as a committee. I agree with I agree with all of the opinions. I believe that um, before our before all of our political motives, we should be talking about how human rights in Palestine and human rights in the state of Israel create a conflict. And uh, we should focus on the territorial um, and political discussions even later because um, this is eventually the United Nations Human Rights Council and we're here to talk about how society, how Palestinian society is a Palestinian Would the delegate of Israel be willing to give up their political benefits for the sake of uh, the Palestinian citizens, for, uh, for the sake of the discussion of the committee? Well, we'd have to again ask you to specify political terms that we have to give up in order to actually give a proper answer okay we need co-submitters now so uh as i get it palestine yes main submitter okay so you can write turkey as um a co-submitter either iran would like to be a co-submitter like co since we're allies with iran we would also like to be a co-submitter are there other delegates wishing to be co-submitters? Seems like there is none and the resolution is finished. Now the lobbying session has elapsed. After lobbying, delegates submit their resolution and the House proceeds with debating. First of all, main submitter makes an introduction speech. So we are going to be moving on with the open debate. But first of all, Delegate of Palestine, would you like to entertain your resolution? Yes. Then you're recognized. Uh, thank you. Honorable Delegate and Heidi Elkin Chairboard, in this resolution, uh, we believe that we explained our aims, our point of view in detail, so we will briefly explain what our general purpose was. 
Uh, we want to make it kind of three steps plan, which means that we focus the violation of human rights in Palestine in almost every aspect. First, we began with the agreements, discussions, and the security problem around the regime. Uh, then we moved on with other types of issues, such as the lack of education or the situation of economy. Our last step was to develop our county both in culture and environmental ways. Uh, we did not want to only specify how we could maintain peace and security, even though we explained the process in detail. We also focused on what we can do in the future to develop our country in accord accordance with other nations' policies, so we believe the resolution will be accepted by each country. And uh, we will briefly explain the resolution. So, thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Do you open yourself to any points of information? Any and all. Are there any in the House? Please raise your hands from participants button. Turkey, you have been recognized. Thank you, Chair. Um, we wanted to ask, you said in your first operative call that you're going to um, call upon Israel and Palestine to have discussions and an agreement. Well, in the past, there have been a lot of discussions, but no, no, none of them actually had uh, a positive effect to it. So um, what makes you think that this one will uh, actually work since you given some um, background to it. Um, thank you, Delga. So uh, as we believe that the time passes, and we also believe that the government of Israel can see the uh, huge uh, problem in that region. So we wanted to, let's say, gather up all the things we have discussed before with these agreements so we can actually move on with the future. So. That was our purpose. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. You may yield the floor. We yield the floor to the Chair. Now the floor is open for delegates wishing to make a speech upon the resolution as a whole. Are there any such delegates? Delegate of Israel, followed by Russian Federation. During the open debate, every delegate may take the floor and deliver a speech about the resolution as a whole. Also, points of information are in order for every speaker. Um, honorable Chair, fellow delegates. So first of all, we would like to start by saying that we believe that this has been a very detailed resolution, but for not for good purposes. Let's start by saying that. The same thing is being repeated multiple times throughout the resolution. The a member state should help Palestine economically and socially Palestine should become a member state. This, these points have been repeated perhaps three to four times. And we believe that there are questions that need to be answered, that aren't answered. For example, if it's in order, we would like to go clause by clause very briefly. Yes, it is in order. Thank you, Chair. Um, so in clause one, sub clause A, sub sub clause three, it's talking about conflicts and it is specifically mentioned, it's specifically said, which is started by the government of Israel where weapons are used. We don't understand and we do not appreciate the point of us being the only part of this conflict, let's say, that is starting such actions and conflicts. And the next sub subclause, for example, preventing loss of natural resources. We don't really understand the exact relevance to the protection of human rights in this um, resolution. And then moving on to this eighth subclause, it's about the right of travel and journeys. However, travel is already allowed. So we don't exactly understand why this subclause is necessary. Um, and then subclause C, having other delegates, third countries joining to observe. We don't exactly understand why they need to be there specifically if it is already being conducted by the UN. And then the same thing, the same clause is being repeated as, we'll come to that since we're going clause by clause, but let's continue. Clause two, for example, member states to ensure social and economic assistance. Why should member states do something like that? It, they may think it's an awful situation, yes. However, why would countries give from their own pockets, their own economy, GDP, in order to help a member state, an observer state, not even a member state? And then again, for subclause B, for example, helping Palestine specifically, and this resolution's main idea is Palestine, so we understand that. However, if we were to think like that, there are many countries that require our help as well. 
many countries in Africa, for example, the Democratic Republic of Congo, they're one of the poorest countries, then we need to help them economically. Clause three, subclause C. Clause three, again, is repeating having meetings regularly, and we don't understand why they need to be separate if the only difference is going to be how often they're going to be and the fact that they're being going to be observed. Instead of that, perhaps having the same meeting, same clause, and then doing it, like increasing the frequency to have them discuss at different intervals. Clause four, making the police, or let's say, um, UN, UNRWA bringing foreign security to do what Palestinian police officers should be doing. Clause five, we were okay with it actually, as in like, we don't think there's anything specific to point out. Clause six, again, assisting Palestine. We don't exactly know why member states should do this. And subclause C of clause six has a lot of things that we don't really understand the importance of having in this resolution mention things being repeated like helping Palestine and how do we prepare refugees for settled life. All countries need to protect their own natural resources and biodiversity, climate change is already happening. So why should we specifically help Palestine do this when we're already suffering from it as well? Thank you. Thank you, delegate. Uh, do you appear yourself to any points of information? Any and all. Are there any in the house? Delegate of Palestine, you haven't recognized. Uh, thank you for your speech, Honorable Delga. So uh, there are actually many points that we would like to ask, but we will just want to, want to mention about the second operative clause. You mentioned about the you mentioned you said actually that uh, this clause is no relevance with the uh, topic directly. So we would like to ask that is the Honorable President for the, the Honorable Delga aware of the fact that uh, they were actually occupying the region from the end of World War II, so that the government actually needs social and economic, economic assistance from the member states because uh, they were actually helped you by, like they were helping you since the end of the World War II to become a much better uh, member state. Thank you. Um, thank you, Delegate. We think you misunderstood us because we did say another subclause wasn't exactly relevant, but we didn't say this wasn't relevant. We just were specifying that as in why should member states help Palestine? So we never said it wasn't relevant. Thank you, delegate. You may yield the floor now. We yield the floor. Um, as promised, delegate of Russian Federation, you have been recognized. Thank you, Chair. Honorable Chair and dear delegates, first of all, we would like to say that this resolution is extremely strong. However, there are some weak points that we would like to go over such as in clause A, uh, sorry, clause one, sub clause A, part three, it says that there should be steel wires and armed guardians. However, we believe that this should be only set for a couple of years until the uh, conflict is completely resolved as this is, un this is an act of unfriendliness and we believe this may lead to further aggressions if something were to happen along these borders. Uh, secondly, in sub, in clause A, subclause A, part seven, it says that Jer Jerusalem should be its own territory. However, we disagree with this as we believe that it should be equally divided so that there could be tourism throughout both countries and help both countries economically. And then in clause two, uh, we would recommend absolutely no changes as we believe this clause is one of the most beneficial. And the same thing goes for clause four. And then we would like to go to clause five, subclause B, and part one. We believe that making more uh, charities and more campaigns is not the biggest issue here. We believe that the existing charities and campaigns should be strengthened and be promoted more as it would help Palestine way more beneficial, quality over quantity. And, and then in also in clause five, subclause B, and part three, uh, it says that there should be distributing brochures. However, we believe that it, we should do virtual advertisements and virtual text, as we believe that brochures may lead to pollution and we would not want to create another problem from a coexisting problem. And then lastly, in uh, clause six in part A, in 
uh, sorry, so clause six, subclause A in part one, we believe that the ter having territories and regions whose borders are decided by neighboring countries, we would also disagree with this as many of the neighboring countries are in support of Israel and this may lead to unfair uh, border control. And again, this would lead to another conflict. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Do you open yourself to any points of information? Any and all. Are there any in the house? Delegate of Israel, you have been recognized. Thank you, Chair. And um, we'd like to ask the Delegate of Russian Federation. So for clause one, subclause A part three, you've said that if we have not misunderstood, you have said, the Delegate has said that steel wires and armed guardians should be implemented after situation has been calmed down. If that is what the delegate wanted to say, if the situation has already calmed down and perhaps resolved, then why should there be a necessity or a need for steel wires and armed guardians? Uh, we believe the delegate has misunderstood us. Uh, what we meant to say is that the, there should be steel wires and guardians set up along the border for the time being, but we believe that they should be removed as this could lead to further tensions later on. So we, we believe that it should be removed in a matter of a couple of years, or as the resolution states a couple of times that there should be a conference every four years. And we believe that in one of those conferences, we should decide on removing the steel fences, as we believe, as we mentioned before that, uh, it may lead to further conflicts. Thank you, delegates. Please yield the floor. Thank you, Chair. We yield the floor. Now I'm yielding my chairing duties to my vice chair. Uh, thank you. Now we have received an, an amendment from the Delegate of United States of America, which is to strike out subclauses six and seven for the clause one, and it will be seen on the screen. The other type of debating in time and procedure is clause debate. At this time, the House debates upon an amendment, which is basically written to change, strike out or add something to the resolution, and it is in essence for the time and procedure. Delegates may write an amendment and send it to the chair. Then a clause debate upon the amendment begins with the introduction speech of the submitter. Afterwards, the chair sets a limited number of speakers for that amendment, separated as in favor and against speakers. Then the amendment should be voted. If it passes, necessary changes must be implemented on the resolution. Now, as the main submitter, could the delegate of the United States deliver a speech for this amendment? Of course. Um, first of all, we would like to state that we're in support of human rights for Palestinian people. However, uh, we believe that the definition of Zionism activities, protests or armed attacks, um, are very loose and could lead to the persecution of Israeli citizens as well, and therefore could create another problem where both Israeli citizens and Palestinians are harmed, especially considering protests are a human right, both in Israel and Palestine. And therefore, um, the, the phrase Zionism activities, discrimination events, are uh, extremely loosely defined and cannot be um, determined properly. In addition, we believe that both of these, um, both of these clauses are interconnected in that uh, both, uh, create, uh, both create other problems rooting from the same problem. We believe that making uh, Jerusalem an international uh, city uh, is a bad solution simply because it is an important city for both religions. Do you, does the delegate fully really believe that um, the internet, the international community who will be supervising uh, the, the city of Jerusalem will take care of both the Palestinians, Jew, both the Palestinians, Jews, Arabs, and Christian minorities there? We do not believe so because Simply other, in other um, areas where ethnic conflict has occurred and has been, has been partitioned into an international territory, um, this solution has never worked. For example, in Nicosia, in Cyprus, which was a divided territory uh, and was administered by international foreign powers, um, ethnic conflicts still continue to occur until the coup d'etat. Therefore, we believe that uh, the international zone that, that will be created there will be poorly maintained and the loose definition of Zionism activities and discrimination events here 
uh, will just only help to uh, discriminate against both Palestinians and create violent conflicts. Thank you. Uh, we will be now entertaining two speeches for this amendment. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor to deliver a speech? Uh, delegate of China followed by Delegate of Israel. Delegate of China, you recognized. Thank you for the recognition. Uh, the Delegate of PRC would like to state that we 100% agree with the striking out of the subclauses. Uh, for the fact that these uh, subclauses make points of politics and rather humanitarian. Uh, first of all, uh, as the definition of Zionism reads as, quote unquote, a movement for originally the reestablishment and the development of protection of a Jewish nation, what is now Israel, we believe that this subclause is biased against Israeli nations and therefore uh, should be striked out for this is a humanitarian issue. And the issue we take with the subclause uh, seven of the operative clause one is the fact that uh, as PR PRC are um, we believe that Jerusalem should be the should have the ownership of full should have the fully ownership of Palestine and it should be recognized it so and therefore both of these uh, subclauses actually do not make any humanitarian aspects to help those people that are in need but mm -hmm. rather uh, try to push their own political agenda and therefore we will be in favor of the striking out of these clauses. Uh, thank you Delgit. Uh, now, as promised, Delegate of Israel. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Um, we would like to also state that we agree with this amendment. We believe that it would make the resolution somewhat better and somewhat more, let's say, under the same topic as it is supposed to be. We also would like to point out that preventing any kind of Zionism activities, it would be say something similar to preventing racist activities or preventing, for example, um, Islamophobic activities and which are all in themselves good ideas. However, when you're talking about the applicability of these ideas, it brings out the point that it brings out the problem which will arise that how are we going to do this? How are we going to ensure that no one in the whole country and there are 8 million people in roughly 8 million people in Israel, 5 million people in Palestine. How are we going to ensure that none of these people are going to pursue such act activities? What if the police officers or whoever is going to regulate this themselves are supporters and fanatics of these activities? Thank you. And we yield the floor. Uh, thank you, Delgit. Um... Now we will be directly moving on with the voting procedure for this amendment. So all the delegates in favor of this amendment, please raise your hands from the participants tab now. Uh, you may now lower them. Uh, all those against. You may now lower them. Uh, all those abstaining. Uh, with a clear majority, this amendment passes. Uh, so now we will be moving on with the in favor speeches upon this resolution. So are there any delegates wishing to take the floor to deliver an in favor speech? Please raise your hand from the participants tab. Uh, are there any motions? At the end, the House moves on to the voting procedure for the resolution as a whole. Motion. A motion, USA. Motion to move on to the voting procedure for the entire resolution. Um, uh, uh, that would be in order. So are there any second for that motion? Second. 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 Any objections? Um, seeing none, now we will be moving on with the voting procedure for this resolution. So all those delegates wishing to vote in favor of this resolution, please raise your hands from the participants. You may now lower them. All those against?
you may now lower them. Uh, so are there any abstentions? So with a clear majority, this resolution fails. Clapping is not in order. So the chair board is waiting for a very specific motion. Are there any motions? Motion Palestine. Motion to adjourn the meeting. Are there any seconds? Second. 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 Any objections? Seeing that there are none, meeting has been adjourned.